Let me just say this straight. I think most companies massively over-engineer things. And not just a little bit. I mean, they turn simple problems into these huge, unnecessary monsters of complexity. And what's funny is, even when you're aware of it, even when you tell yourself you won't fall into the same trap, it still pulls you in. I've seen it happen in multiple companies I work for, across different teams and completely different products. And the surprising part is that it even happened to me while building my own app. I went into it thinking, all right, I've seen how over-engineering destroys productivity. I'm not going to let that happen here. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, I catch myself doing the exact same thing, adding extra layers, imagining future scenarios, building things more complex than they need to be. So today I want to talk about this honestly, not with buzzwords, not with diagrams, not with some theoretical architecture talk. I want to speak as someone who's lived it, watched it happen repeatedly, and still has to fight the instinct to overcomplicate things even when working alone. So let me give you a true story, which is just one of many. I worked for this company where the product itself was not extremely complex. It was solid, but it wasn't Google scale or some giant social network or anything crazy. Yet the architecture, oh man. The architecture looked like someone tried to recreate Amazon Web Services inside of a single startup. Everything was split up into microservices. And I swear, half of them had no business being microservices at all. We had tiny features running as their own services. Things that could have been a single file inside a monolith. Yet somehow, they lived in separate repos with their own pipelines and their own deployments. And on top of that, we had message queues literally everywhere connecting things that didn't need to be connected, all bouncing messages back and forth like some kind of overly complicated Rube Goldberg machine. And then, for reasons I still can't fully understand, someone introduced a service mesh. I remember opening the documentation and thinking, why do we even have this? What problem was this supposed to solve? Because no one ever explained it, and it didn't actually simplify anything. It just added another layer you had to think about every time something went wrong. The logging system was probably the funniest part, but also the most painful. It was so overcomplicated that debugging almost became an actual job role. You had logs going into different systems, different indices, different dashboards, and half the time you had to jump between all of them just to piece together what a single request did. It felt like doing forensic work instead of normal debugging. And the part that always gets me, the part that honestly made me laugh in frustration, was when something broke, which happened way more often than anyone wanted to admit, nobody actually knew where to begin. You open one service, you check logs, nothing makes sense. So you move to another service, and then another, and then another. You end up with 10 tabs open, cross-referencing timestamps from five different logging tools, tracing calls through systems that didn't even need to exist in the first place. It's exhausting just thinking about it. And when you finally stop and ask, Why is it built like this? Who decided this was the right approach? The answer was always the same, every single time. We were planning for scale. Scale, for what? For the massive user base that never showed up? For the millions of daily requests that never came? That scale never arrived, and honestly, I doubt it ever will. But the over-engineered architecture stayed behind like a monument to unnecessary complexity. And the people who pay the price are never the ones who designed it. Architects move on, managers get promoted, but the developers who have to maintain that spaghetti of services, the new hires trying to get up to speed, they're the ones who suffer. And what's wild is that this wasn't an isolated case. This wasn't me being unlucky with one weird company. I've seen this pattern over and over again. In small teams, big corporations, startups, agencies, internal departments, It doesn't matter where you go, the story repeats itself. And the more places I worked, the more I realized something that honestly worries me. Over-engineering has become normal. It's almost expected. People do it automatically, even when the simpler solution is staring them right in the face. Everyone's over-engineering, and most of the time, there's absolutely no reason for it. And here's the part where I admit something. Even when I started building my own SaaS, Literally me, on my own, no pressure, no boss, no huge customer base. I still caught myself over-engineering. And that freaked me out a bit. Because I thought, I know better. I've seen the damage this causes. I'm going to avoid it. But nope, 
the habits are ingrained. I found myself thinking things like, well, maybe I should split this into three services, or I should create a separate infrastructure layer for this, or I might need a more complex auth system in the future. In the future, not now, not today, not for the MVP. It's like this instinct we develop as developers or DevOps engineers, this desire to make things proper and scalable and future-proof. But the reality is, most of the time, we don't need future-proofing. We need present-proofing, meaning something simple that works today. I constantly have to stop myself and say, no, keep it simple. Don't do what you've seen other companies do. Don't overbuild. Not yet. And I think a lot of developers feel this way, but they don't talk about it because admitting you over-engineer feels like admitting you're doing something wrong. But we all do it. It's almost natural. So why does this happen everywhere? Why is over-engineering basically the default state of modern tech teams? Let's be honest, developers like shiny toys, they hear about Kubernetes, Kafka, microservices, cores, event sourcing, and they want to try it. It's not malicious, it's curiosity, but curiosity plus production systems equals chaos. Architects feel the need to justify their position. Not all, but many. If an architect can solve something with one file, they look less valuable. If they solve it with 18 layers, suddenly they're critical. Managers want to sound innovative. They love buzzwords. And buzzwords create unnecessary complexity, copying what big companies do. Everyone tries to imitate Google, Netflix, Amazon without understanding that these companies built complex systems because they had no choice. Their scale forced it. You, you have 1,000 users. Fear of simplicity. Simple systems feel too easy. People think easy equals wrong, but most of the time, easy equals exactly what you need. Ego. Let's be real. Complex systems make developers feel smart, but being smart isn't the job. Shipping reliable software is. Now, I don't want this to be just a rant, so let me share what I believe companies and individual developers should do instead. Start with the simplest thing that works, not the fanciest thing, not the most future-proof thing, the simplest thing. Add complexity only when you feel pain. If your system works fine, don't touch it. If you start hitting real limitations, then evolve. Don't try to be Google. You're not Google. You don't need their complexity. They would laugh at your user count. Stop building for imaginary problems. Most what-if scenarios never happen. Embrace boring technology. Boring tech is predictable. Predictable tech is reliable. Reliable tech lets you sleep. Refactor later when you actually know what you're building. You will always understand the real needs of your system months after you start building it. So don't design the entire architecture on day one. Let me finish with this. I've worked in companies where the system was so over-engineered that new developers needed weeks just to understand how requests moved through the system. I've seen teams where the architecture looked like it was built for a million users, even though the actual number of users was closer to 100. I've seen systems collapse under their own complexity, not because they were overloaded, but because they were over-designed. And even now, building my own SaaS, I still catch myself starting to overcomplicate things without even thinking. It's like a reflex. But I force myself, sometimes literally stop mid-code, and say, no, keep it simple. Don't repeat what you've seen. And honestly, that alone has made my productivity explode. Because simple isn't just easier. Simple is faster, cheaper, more reliable, and smarter. And in most cases, Simple is exactly what you need. Thanks for watching and see you next time.